Good morrow, everyone, and welcome to the Goose Pond. My name is Hollow Goose, and today we are playing more little Gator game. I'm gone. Let's see where we left our little reptilian friend off last time. Goose McFeather. All right. What was? No, 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 I don't. Come on. guys up there. Whoa. Blam. Ninja star. Ninja star. Ninja star. Ninja star. Oh, I'm so good at this. Oh, shoot. Nice. There's no way to sprint. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Very cool. I'm a ninja? Like an actual freaking ninja. Destroy everything on the island. Back at the beginning. Oh wow. Oh wow. You seem to have something in your get it out. Much better now that you pulled whatever was out. Did you go somewhere once you were done? Who blessed me into outer space? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It was awesome. Oh, well, um, if you ever want to do it again, feel free to climb up on. Don't mind. Whoa. Astronaut helmet? Yes. I mean, astronaut now. Well, hold on. This, um,. I feel like this doesn't actually, you know, I don't know. The game knows what it's doing. For you, can I take a picture? Are you talking to a fly? Oh, I'm um, sorry, I didn't think anyone could hear me. Get the foot of the bird in the tree. Here I got it. Wouldn't risk hurting it. No, 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 no. You said you didn't want to risk hurting it, but trust me. Nope, okay, I guess it doesn't care. I just want to get on the branch. Can I not stand on this part? Wow. Well, I don't think I can climb up there quite yet, then. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's Father of... Yeah. Resourcefulness. Perfect photo. Okay, I can do this. I'm gonna show this to the paragons. What? Here's something for you. Whoa. Taking nature photos. Sounds like fun. My phone camera wasn't so old and low res. Hmm. No wonder. Oh, wow. It's amazing what you can do with craft glue in a dream. <sighs> kind of funny. Nunchucks right now? That sounds pretty cool. Nice. Where do I go now? There's a bunch of people here. Hi, Jill. What's up? Great timing, Scales. I want you to meet my friends from St. Hogger. St. Hogger? That's the prep school you're studying for, right? The, the very same. Hi, I'm Suzanne, fearless leader of the Paragons of St. Hogger. This is Jean and Atone. We're a small but motivated study group. Always looking for new members. Ah! Man, it's so hot in this morning. So hot. Speaking of, Jill, maybe you and your friend would like to join us for an independent project. Oh, um, I don't know if that would, uh, appeal to Goose McFeather's interest necessarily. What's independent projects? Is it some kind of game? Can I play? It's exactly like a game. We individually conduct research studies and then unite to share our findings. I'm scouring the forest for evidence of a Paleolithic tool usage. I'm researching old bartering methods and the establishment of uniform currency. I catalog beetles. I collect spores. Those don't sound like games at all. Sounds like you invented schoolwork to do, alone. Pretty much. Assigned fall reading is no challenge at all for the Paragons. Invention is the only path to enri enrichment. All right. Plus it's fun and extra credit. Well, all this work and our break is only so long. Right, you are Goose McFeathers. We're wasting valuable time. Available daylight. Time to move out and get started. Paragons, preambulate. We're working on that catchphrase. Jeez, what a drag. A sunny day in the park and they're gonna waste it on imaginary work? Yeah, they're cracking down hard, huh? Probably because they don't have a super cool friend with a super fun game in progress ready to head to the playground. Scales. I want to help you win your sister over, really, but if St. Hogger is this competitive, I need to step up my game. I need to come up with an independent project. First of all, I'm not even sure where to start. What? But it's fall break. There's time for a million projects later. We should have fun. Sorry, Goose. I guess you'll have to choose dull stuff this time. See you. What's going on here? She was so excited about prep school until her friends started talking about all the science stuff. Why are they working on this? Should be having fun. It's like they don't even know how. That's it. Those friends don't know how to have fun. I'll convince them to join the game. I'll ruin the school project. Hey, and Goose so there's Have you decided to rally with the Paragons? Sure, yeah. And uh, thinking about it, I wanted to see what kind of project you were doing. Excellent. To do that, it's important to understand that the strength, the size, the temperature, effect, of rock. This is boring! Yawn. Exactly. A single calculation error could. Okay. Wait a second. Mining? Rocks? Tools? Strength? 
You're just like a blacksmith. It's exactly like a blacksmith. Or anything else that keeps you excited about it. That's great. My friends and I are building a fantasy town on the playground. You should come and be our blacksmith. Sounds admissible as community service. I would be honored. Unfortunately, I'm still in the middle of my study, and you wouldn't believe how hard it is to dig up a Paleolithic artifact around here. I can find an artifact for you that's just the kind of things heroes do. Is that so? Hmm. In that case, I've decided a brilliant plan. Oh, noble hero, heed the plea of this adroit metal rites. I seek the enchanted mineral on a faraway coastline. You need a rock from the beach? Yup, pretty much any rock. Beach rock. As long as it is overflowing with magical power. Bring a nice sparkly beach rock back here, and together we will forge something that will blow you away. Can do. Find beach ore. Oh gosh. Beetle guy. Hi, Town. Hey. So you like the beetle guy? I'm just a normal guy for now. Still waiting on the tragic surgical mishaps that will transform me into the beetle guy. Huh? Never mind. Did you need something? Yeah, I'm getting people together for a game and there's a legend of a hero character you'd be perfect for. A beetle related character, I assume? Yeah, they love beetles and they talk funny and sell you rare stuff. It'll be fun. I'll pass. Oh, I've got my own rare beetles to find. Oh, that's okay. Do you want, do you want help with that instead? Really? Yeah, I'm the best at helping. I'll find you that beetle so fast you'll be done in no time. I'm in no rush, but another pair of eyes will couldn't hurt. Take a look at this. That's cool. The, oh, that one? I've seen that one in, in science books. It's a Hercules beetle. They're native to this forest, but not common. Uh, are they really that big? Only if they eat their vegetables. They're slow and clumsy compared to other beetles, so about as fast as us. You have to surprise it. Oh, <laughs> they're not very fast, but neither are us. <laughs> gotcha, they eat rotting wooden fruit. I usually look around fallen trees. Gotcha, gotcha. Also, listen for sandpaper sound they make. They're stridulated. The stridulate of their abdomen against their electric. Ele what? Gotcha, 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 gotcha! I have all the beetle knowledge in my brain. I'm finding a, I'm a beetle finding machine. No more beetle facts required. Right, well, take this in case you see one. <gasps> a bug man. Good or evil, I'll take whatever you can. Do I want to be good or evil beetle? I'm gonna find me an evil beetle. Where are all these evil beetles? Okay. Where would... Where did that girl wander off to? Whoa. Man, I'm so good at finding these things. Whoa. Nice. And oh, there you go. She can't be that far. Come on. Maybe she's up here. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, she's right here. Or he, she, Jean. My word. If it isn't the great hero who seeks to unite us all at the heart of the world. Whoa, you already know about the game? A good marketeer must always keep their nose in the latest news. I adore the idea. You've already devised a quest for you. Oh, you've already devised a quest for you. Better yet, I've incorporated elements in my research project. Aw, oh, man. Around here, paper currency is scarce, but our hearts and lunchboxes are brimming with life. The conditions are perfect to experience real-life bartering. A cupcake for a keychain, three juice boxes to build a fence, that sort of thing. I have paper currency, sort of, it's paper. Fortunately, I lack even half of your creativity with rock and fetty, so it holds no value to me. However, I do have a heroic service I need to be performed. Maybe you'd be up for it. Well, I guess if it's a heroic service, up on that nearby hill in the landing where the leaves never change, there is a horde of shape monsters. Shape monsters? You mean shape shifters? You might catch them doing a pinch of shifting, but mostly they're just shape. 
whatever they are, they have a small chance to drop a special yellow triangle. What? Heroes are all about getting yellow triangles. I knew you'd appreciate that part. Once you have the yellow triangle, I'll trade you anything in my shop for it. Cool. What's in the shop? Right, of course. Let me get it all laid out for you. Here it is. A fine selection, I dare say. Have a look around if you like. Otherwise, I wish you safe passage to the hills. It's a pile of soggy gum wrappers. Great. Silver spitballs, perfect for dazzling delinquents or bullying magical monsters. They're pre-chewed, pre-spat, and packed with gum for extra wallop. Gross, no thanks. Not your taste? How about this? A sprig of magical springtime grass, the greenest, most vibrant grass you'll ever see. Uh, it was much greener when I gathered it back in the spring, of course. What about this one? You have a keen eye for finery, and this is the only product that isn't made of garbage. Can you believe my mother was throwing it away? This was once a serving dish, but I can only dream of how a clever hero might put it to use. It's pretty, I think I'll pick this one. It's London. Look forward to, your lucr to a lucrative trade with you. With a triangle, great. Is there a triangle for a plate? Shia! 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 Wait, what? I have a butterfly net equipped. I thought I had nunchucks. Game that's my face. Ooh. That's one down, does the dishes tonight. How rare is this drop? <laughs> Half a cheese sandwich. Finally, I must have cleared the whole forest for this triangle. Not the kind I was expecting, but most people do want it. I'll trade up for it. Well, I kind of want to also fight wherever this thing is over here. I didn't know they would explode. They look like bombs. What's this? You guys eating lunch? That looks really good. I guess. I don't really like mine. Uh, me neither. Maybe we can give it to someone else, but I'm hungry. You should definitely eat something. Nutrition is important, but if you're going to give it away anyway, maybe you can give it to each other. Oh, like a trade? That sounds perfect. Who wants mine? Oops. Um, never fear, folks. The green hero has shall solve the lunchtime puzzle. Talk to each of you. Great. Oh, cool. Thank you. I like something light and healthy, please. Okay. Apple sauce is something great. I'd love that. I want a lot of food, please. Oh, uh, I'm really hungry. Yummy. I want to eat the whole dish. I like salty food, but I only want a small snack. Yeah, this is good. This is the easy puzzle. I feel healthy and strong. I got just what I wanted. Thank you, Green Hero. Happy to help. She could do something at the playground now. Yeah, good idea. See you there. Yay! Yeah, I find that beetle now. Ooh. There's more things to destroy. I can't just. I can't. Ah! I can't just leave these enemies. For other people to get ambushed by. That'd be terrible. That one was like, no, don't kill my baby! <laughs> Savage. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry.
I'm back, Dean. This is the yellow triangle you wanted. I had to fight my way through the entire forest, but you got it. Oh, yes, it is, but I'm um, uh, well about that. Hi, guys, my brother. Let's check out all this cool stuff I just bought. It was gonna cost me a bushel of apples, but I don't know what a bushel is, so I haggled it down to two apples. What? Jane! It's, um, well, you were taught, you were taking a long time to find my lost lunch, and I was getting very hungry. So I got a bit desperate. Oops. You can't just sell the whole shop while I'm doing your heroic service? No, of course not. A very bad form. Oh, uh, this is quite a pickle. Wait, guess it is. Did you want to buy some of this stuff? I was supposed to get one as a quest reward, but... Okay, let's haggle for it. Haggle? Um, well... Let's see, uh... Esme want, will want the grass for rituals. The shiny beads are perfect for... Andromeda. I was gonna use this weird frisbee as a serving platter. But I can part with it. What do you want for it? Well, I've been looking for something to be the signature dish in a Pokemon point of a restaurant idea. Upright enough to be seen from an audience at an angle. Brightly colored. Do you do you want the do you want the grilled cheese sandwich? Half a cheese sandwich. But who fi who only finishes half of such a delicacy? Seriously? Yeah. I have that. You do? Yep. Let's trade. Deal. Finally, I got a really fancy looking big plate. Man, bartering is easy. Sorry, you won't have a fancy plate to put your sandwich on. What do you mean? Oh dang, you're right. That's okay. With my bartering skills, pretty soon I'll be rolling in plates. Haha, <laughs> you'll have your own Playmobil. Away I go with my amazing patent pending Playmobil! Bye, Goose McFeather. Bye! Well, that was fortuitous. You got off the hook easy. I hope you learn not to promise, make promises like that next time. Absolutely, and from now on, I'm never doing business on an empty stomach. I guess that means the research project is canceled, huh? Heavens no. This kind of data is indispensable. What? To witness an exchange of goods completely outside of my influence is inspiring. If I can convert the raw materials lying around here to more goods, I can stimulate even more such trades. Say, you're good at marketing things. How about you? How about a business partner? Ah! I didn't get beach tour. And I didn't get the thing you wanted. Let's get the beach, I guess. I'm riding this like a plate. I'm like riding the plate. I got a beach rock. Maybe it will be a magic sword or an amulet. I can't wait to see. Watch it be it and nothing of the sword. Man, I'd love to get more power bands. How can it become super powerful? I already helped you. Rah. Um. Here you go. I got the ore. Great. The forge is hot and so is my smithing spirit. Set it here and we'll get started. Wow. What? Is it a good rock? It looks like basalt. Seafloor basalt with veins of quartz. Basalt is perfect because it is easier to break down than granite, but heavier and more solid than pumice. Not to mention the fault lines are superior. It should fracture into the shape we want it. It's all on its own. Did you know that right about the time Paleothic animals evolved to walk upright, they would? Alright, yes, it's a good rock. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Yes, it's a really good rock. And it has cool lines, which of course- don't zoom in on me getting shorter. It has really cool lines, which of course means it is very magic. Now all you have to do is heat it up and apply pressure so that it fractures. 
pressure? Should I should I sit on it? Uh, I think he hit it a bunch. You know, like a blacksmith. Oh, violence! I can do violence. And have at it, hero. Hone your tool of violence into one of creation. Yeah! 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 We did it! We did it! The transformation is complete! From ass and sweat, we have made our mark upon the world. What is it? What is it? Is it a magic sword? Oh, it's a laser wand. A power ring? A key to the underworld? Better than all that. By landslide. This is a historical landmark. Have a look for yourself. You have earned this noble tool. It's a rock attached to a stick with a piece of string and some lines on it, I guess. Is this it? Don't you see, Goose? This isn't just a rock and a stick. It's, it's transformative. In the footsteps of the engineers of old, we forged the foremother of all two. That was... I was expecting. It must be millennia, even hundreds of millennia by now since our very two distant lineages united under this exact goal. Unless you count the Neolithic and Paleolithic periods as indistinctive, in which case. Ah, no more lore, please, no more! Ah, suit yourself. Well, that's of my projects. Nope, thanks, the rock. Thanks for the rock, see you, bye. Oh boy, how do I get into these situations? Is there a barcode on the back of this plate? 